A nation parable in the East refers to a lioness who as she jumped from the one hill to another, gave birth to her baby. The baby fell on the road, through which a large flock of sheep was passing. Of course, he was confused among the sheep. He lived with the sheep. He behaved like a sheep. He had no idea, not even in his dream, that he was a lion. How could it be? Everywhere around him were sheep and only sheep. He had never eaten like a lion. A sheep does not roar. He was never alone like a lion. A sheep is never alone. He always in the crowd. The crowd offers comfort, safety, and security. If you see sheep moving, they move so close that they almost fall on top of each other. They are afraid to be alone. But the lion began to grow. It was a very foreign phenomenon. He was mentally identified with a sheep. Nature will not follow your mind. He became a handsome young lion. But because things happened so slowly, the sheep got used to it. Just as he got used to the sheep. The sheep thought it was a bit crazy. Of course, he did not behave normally and continued to grow. That should not have happened. Pretend to be a lion. But they knew he was not a lion. They have seen it since his birth. They had raised him. They had given him their milk. By nature, he was not a herbivore. But this lion was a herbivore because the sheep are herbivores. He ate grass with great joy. They accepted this small difference that he was a little big and looked like a lion. A very wise sheep said, It's just an anomaly of nature. It happens once in a while. And the lion also accepted that it was true. His color was different. His body was different. It must be an anomaly, something unnatural. But this idea that he was a lion was impossible. All those sheep surrounded him. And the sheep psychoanalytic gave him explanation. You are just an anomaly of nature. Do not worry, we are here to take care of you. But one day, an old lion passed by and saw the young lion standing out among the flock of sheep. He could not believe his eyes. He had never seen such a thing, nor had he ever heard in history a lion standing in the middle of a flock of sheep without any sheep being afraid. And this lion walked just like the sheep, grazing on the grass. The old lion could not believe his eyes. He forgot that he intended to catch a sheep for breakfast. He completely forgot about the breakfast. He was so strange that he decided to capture the young lion and find out what's going on. But he was old, and the young lion was very fast. He could not catch it. Even though he believed he was a sheep, when there was a danger, the element of identification was forgotten. He was running like a lion, and the old lion had a hard time catching him. Eventually, however, the old lion captured him. The young lion was crying and mourning and saying, Have pity on me, I am a poor sheep, please let me go. The old lion said, Stupid, stop this nonsense and come with me to the pond. 
a pond was very close to them. The young lion did not want to go, but went there completely relicate. Because what can you do to a lion if you are just a sheep? It can kill you if you don't follow. So obey. The pond was quiet, with no ripples, almost like a mirror. The old lion said to the young man, Look, look at my face, and look at your face. Look at my body, and look at your body in the water. In seconds, a loud roar was heard. The surrounding hills echoed. The sheep disappeared. He was completely different creatures. He recognized himself. The identification with sheep was not real. It was just an idea in his mind. Now he had seen the reality. The old lion said, Now I do not need to say anything more. Did you understand? The young lion could feel a strange energy he had never felt before in his life. As if he had been asleep until then, he could feel a tremendous strength while he was always a weak and humble sheep. All this humility, all this weakness, just evaporated. <laughs>